Hi, it's Sophie King Tronk uh, back again with you yet another attempt an ale review. One I've got a review, not an ale, lager. Brazilian one, courtesy of Inbev. It's a Brahma, it's uh, 4.3 on the Richter scale for this. Slinky bottle, I've seen it, a lot of guys drink it, party beer, do shots and all that kind of stuff. Looks like a fun beer. Never tried it, going to have a go at it. So we'll see what the Brahma has to come up with. Jimmy. Bottle crown on it. Anything like so a lot of guys out there, anything that InBev get a hold of, they, they boycott it. Now, okay. I mean, to a certain extent, no one likes to see the wee guys getting bottled over and then they get thrown all over the world. I dare say before InBev got involved in this, this wasn't selling in the UK, so it's made them a lot of money by selling to InBev or maybe keeping shares in the company. Uh, we'll go in here for the pour. Pour it in. I know really with these kind of beers you should be drinking them out of the bottle because they're kind of poncy beers, but I ain't a poncy. That type of guy, poser, or ponce, or whatever. I don't like that kind of thing. I prefer drinking beer out of glass. It's nicer. More mature, a bit like myself. So anyway, here we go, it's nice, it's gold, it's clear, it's filtered, it's everything, you can see right through it, you can probably see my ball face right through it. So anyway, we'll go in here, a bit of carbonation going up there, in the Brahma, 4.3 on the Richter scale. So we'll go in here for the nose, not expecting much on the nose, but you never know, got to go in anyway. Maybe a little bit of a, a slight bready note to it, isn't it? It just basically smells like a filtered lager, to be honest with you. But it's all about the taste, so so if we can drink one in here for a taste of the Brahma, 4.3 on the Richter scale. Oh, drink of a little taste of real Slangiva. What am I going to say about that? Is there's not really a lot you can say about that. It's just it's cold and it's wet. It's not rotten. Uh, it's one of those drinks in the hot hot sun of Rio or the hot on sun of Glasgow or the hot hot sun of London or Manchester or Liverpool or anywhere you come from. And it's a roasting hot day and you had four pack of them in the fridge and you're choking for a beer. You would drink them and think they were the best things since sliced bread. That is basically all it's brewed for. It's cold and it's wet and it's refreshing. When I say refreshing, I mean, it's <laughs> it's not really got the taste. But you know what I'm saying, Like a lot of people just like a cold beer to drink and get that sort of... Uh, Beery feeling about them, but oh, that was great. I had a beer on a cold, you know, like a, a cold beer on a hot day. That is all it's, that is going to give you is that sensation. It there's really it's bland tasting. There's a lot better lagers out there. Uh, this is mass produced now for the masses all over the planet. Brazilian beer. It's it's. Pretty. We'll give it. We'll we'll do a, a ginger stew and we'll give it the bottle test, as he always does at the bottle test. That's maybe it might taste a wee bit different at the bottle. I'll be honest with you. That's what you're getting. You're just getting a little bit of a uh, cold excitement out of the fridge in a hot day. Don't get me wrong. Somebody handed one of them. I don't know, maybe... I've never drank this before, but it might be one that you maybe put a lemon or a lime in the top of it because it's uh, Brazilian. I might be wrong. Now, with some of the Mexican beers, you kind of put a wee bit of lemon and lime in them to try them, give them a taste. It's very, very bland. Uh, 
I'm going to try one of them. I've got, I got a four pack of them for about oh, three, just under four quid for the four pack. So I will try a, a piece of uh, lemon or lime in it and see if it makes any difference. But to be honest with you, it can't kind of taste any worse than what it is. It's, it is. It just does what it does, to be honest with you. So anyway, I've got to get back in here for an up slip. Bog standard. So anyway, I'm going to give the Brazil beer, the Brahma, uh, 4.3 on the Richter scale. Save this one for a heat wave. Uh, if you, there's a heat wave ever hits you in the UK, then jump out and get a transit van full of this stuff because you probably enjoy it in a heat wave. I maybe suggest a little bit of fruit in the neck of the bottle if you've got to drink it straight for the bottle. It's one for the barbecue. It's one I wouldn't even I wouldn't even class this as a breakfast beer for a simple reason. You'd probably drink about seven or eight of them before you would even uh, get touch your hangover. It's it's pretty bland, it's pretty boring. But I do odd I do urge you to have a go at them. If you're one of those guys, you go, Hi, my name's Kevin. I could, do you come here often? Have a go at it. Poser beer. That's what it is. It's a poser's beer. Have a go at it. So anyway, this is so freaking drunk. Drinking a Brahma. And give it a mark. Is it one I'm going to return to? It probably is. When I drink the other three, and then I'll never return to it again. I'm going to give the Brahma... I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10. So anyway, if you've seen it, tried it, or you can help me with the flavouring, please give us a shout. <coughs> and if not, so freaking drunk, we'll see you in another beer review. Sanjeeva, keep drinking a good beer. The Brahma, but... Sanjeeva!